Hello Taurus. This is your reading for the 10th through the 12th. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Taurus. What do my Tauruses need to know in love for the 10th through the 12th? Taurus. Hmm. We have the Three of Cups. Beautiful. We have the Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. We have the Hermit. Two majors right there in the middle. And we have Death. Three majors. Hmm. I feel like there's a cancer energy here. Um, there is a feeling of wanting to re like reconnect with someone here. Okay. Um, you, you're feeling like some of you are feeling like you're losing your your stance or your opportunity in this situation you're trying to keep your your faith around this situation though because I'm getting that you're definitely wanting to reconnect with the intention of having a committed relationship I feel like you guys are definitely looking for that person that you feel like you belong with here You have your back turned to death, which is an ending, but it's also transformation. So what I'm getting from this is that there's something that you guys are missing, which is, which is probably the reason why you're not feeling sure of yourself. You're feeling like you're losing this battle. You're feeling like you're losing this battle here. <clears throat> we have Scorpio energy here, Virgo energy here as well. This is definitely you. Now, there could also be somebody that has just ended something here for some of you. And is coming towards you guys. Some of you are not really wanting anything traditional. Wanting to reconnect with someone, but not really wanting that real commitment for some of you. Okay. Please show me more about the Three of Cups energy here. Please show me more about the Three of Cups. Oh, okay. The Will of Fortune. But it's in reverse. Again, you don't feel like, you know this reconnection is going to happen. You don't feel like it's going to be successful. I'm definitely getting an energy of not feeling sure of yourself. Okay? And Taurus, uh, not Taurus, but Aries had the same kind of energy, but it was with someone new. But I'm getting more of a like a, a reconnect like this is a situation that um, you know is already familiar to you guys here please show me more about the Hierophant please show me more about the Hierophant then you have the daughter of air which is the page of swords hmm I'm feeling like a lot of you guys have just given up Like you've just given up. For those of you who are looking to reconnect with somebody or, or wanted to reconnect with someone, I'm feeling this 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 sense of giving up. Okay, and for those of you who, um, you know, you want to reconnect, you want to basically set something straight with an individual not necessarily that you want to like get back together with this person but you just 
it's like you're not interested in um, you know a committed relationship you feel like reconnecting with this person on the level of trying to actually reunite that wouldn't work out okay you don't want to repeat a cycle with this individual but you do want to clear the air I feel you're not interested in a traditional commitment but this person I feel like may have ended something to come towards you at least that's the energy here that they want to please show me more of the hermit energy please show me more about the hermit energy the Emperor hmm. this person is definitely sure of who they are they are um, quite sure of what they want okay um, I don't really see them making a physical move towards you but I definitely see them checking you guys out rethinking something here in this situation this person I feel does not want this situation to end they may pretend like they do or you may feel like they do but I'm feeling like this person does not want this to end okay for those of you who are not interested in, in reuniting this person definitely I feel wants to reunite but they're coming across like you know they may seem like they don't want to but they do okay please show me more about death and then we have the four of wands here Aries energy I feel like there's a lot that this person this person has changed a lot I feel like they are comfortable where they are um, they're very protective of whatever they have going on currently I feel okay um, and it's all it's all about their personal stability though this person may have ended a relationship here with the death and the four of wands energy they may have ended a relationship here or this is this person not wanting you know the connection with you guys to really end you guys may not know about it like I said before but um, that energy is definitely here so whether or not you 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 know don't want to reunite and feel like this will not be successful that you do not want to repeat a cycle with this person but you would like to smooth things over um, this person I feel you know really feels like you guys are the one even though they have their back currently turned to this situation because they may feel like you do as well that you know this wouldn't work out but they know what they know here with the hermit looking right at you guys here okay so either way whether you guys want to reconnect and you're not sure about it or you want to reconnect just to smooth things over um, this person feels the same way okay so let me go ahead and pull your cards for who's coming towards you guys here let's see <clears throat> who's coming towards Taurus what energy is coming towards Taurus for the 10th through the 12th? What energy is coming towards Taurus? The Four of Swords. Mm, labor energy there. This person's protected. They are comfortable where they are right now. They're resting. Um, three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy there. This person may have a family, maybe older, maybe in their 40s, 50s even, for some of you. The Five of Wands. Somebody that definitely does not want conflict. I feel like, you know, this person's been hurt. Um, and, you know, you guys may have had a lot of arguments between the two of you. But they're definitely recovering from that. 
I feel like they are no longer interested in any confrontational energy if they were before and then you have the hermit repeating itself okay this is somebody very spiritual that really likes to you know look at the issues figure things out here this is a very compromising person they try to figure out what has gone wrong and not repeat you know those issues so I feel like if this person was very argumentative before they've done a lot of changing spiritually okay so we have Libra Capricorn Virgo's very strong here um, Leo energy Aries is strong Scorpio um, Sagittarius Pisces Cancer excuse me and could be um, a Gemini and Aquarius as well guys alright so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon